three days and I think they're on one. But somebody oh, yeah, 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 they yeah. have that versus. No, but they they so, are having yeah. one. They doing it? Yeah, they going to have it. Damn fun. Yep. What the hell, bro? Hey, bro, that's going to bring the whole hood out. Oh, bro? Yeah, I don't know which one. That's going to bring the whole hood out. I want them for, for, for real. I, um, oh, man. I got one. No shit, Sherlock. Sure. My cat, my cat, yeah, boy. Fe- fellas, fellas, fellas. Everybody go ahead. We, we on, we on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all already know who it is. One of who, FSU. Who that you know is? what I'm saying? We repping the FSU today because we beat the U. U. You hit me. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I got the glasses on today because uh, it was a long night last night. Show don't get offended. I just can't talk with this bullshit next to me. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> I really got that shit on. Well, at least I thought I did till I realized he had shit on him. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, tune in, tune in. Let's go. That's falling off coming, man. It's Sunday. Y'all know what time it is. It's the scoop. Let's go. Hey. It's Sunday. Beautiful morning, right, 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 right. day. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful mm-hmm. Sunday, and y'all in tune for some Sunday at the scoop. You feel me? You're now in tune to the motherfucking greatest. Let's go. Yes, yes, round yes. of applause. Hey, yes, yes, yes. You have to bring that round of applause on like Jesus, man. What's up, man? It's the scoop. It's your host, PJ, the perfect gentleman. I got my two co-hosts with me, Tony MFG. Hey, you say the motherfucker. And Mr. Fly Jock himself, ladies and gentlemen. We in the building. We in the building. All right, all right, all right. Uh, topic today, topic today. We got, uh, what is it called? Let me go on to it. Oh, receiving the same energy you put out. You know what I mean? Uh, I think this clip comes from, no, it doesn't. It comes from AI. And uh, what's her name? Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. My bad, my bad, bro. That nigga came from under that rock. Yeah, and boy, he talking some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it came, it came from that, and uh, what I wanted to touch on is that because, uh, <clears throat> you know, you know, of course, we all know that uh, Terrell was kind of on the point of how season eight went with Charlotte and everything. It was, you know, you know, sad and all this other stuff. But AI, the goat, is a dead man. The idea is that it's, you know, AI the goat. Uh, he said to him that uh, you know people are always gonna you know what I'm saying have something to say about you. You see what I mean? Like and he was like they said the same things about me when I was on. And this I'm paraphrasing. Did you understand what AI was on? Because from the fact that playing that clip right now, I have to play it through the phone for y'all to kind of hear that. But it don't matter if y'all want to do that. We'll play the clip and we'll go right into it. That way that. You know, we get a little basis for the show and whatnot. So I let I let AI done kick it, and um, we'll go on to that. Yeah, 
motherfuckers gonna say about me, man. Oh, yeah, everybody they won't like you, me. man. Everybody yeah. don't like you in this motherfucking world. Yeah, exactly. I had to learn that for myself. Yeah. Motherfucker, I went through pain when, when, when motherfuckers talk shit about me. Yeah. Everybody don't like you, man. Everybody don't fuck with you. Absolutely. Everybody, it don't go like that in this world, man. This world. All right, that's pretty much what the basis of the conversation is. Y'all kind of heard it here. Y'all heard it here from um, AI himself. Uh, Tony MLC, you know you always reflect a lot of your kind of energy and, and things. Oh, I don't like a lot of the motherfuckers? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers don't like me. So, I just, yeah, I wanted to talk like, you know. Oh, so a lot of motherfuckers don't like sometimes me. Sometimes y'all be like, you know. We, well, we tell them to bring that, that shit to the square, dog. We need to get yeah. that relationship set up. Yeah, you don't like what I'm saying, man, but. Explain when you see me. Some of the shit he said. You can throw these hands up. Slap me out. You ain't know the pimp, and I don't give a down. If I said it, then I meant it. Yeah. And what? Go ahead. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I'm, I'm listening to that track. I'm off. Me too. You on? No, I'm no, not. We both off. Yeah, y'all on. No, we're not. Nigga, I'm in this shit. That shit don't sound right. That just sound like Bro, listen, 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 listen. It got to be like that because we got the, you know, oh, we got yeah, the yeah, 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 mic yeah. so at the end of the day, yeah, this is what's fixing them up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, saying? So, so it ain't, we so got it ain't about, it ain't about the feed, it ain't, yeah, it ain't about the feedback in the studio. Oh, okay, okay so uh, if y'all right. can't hear me, please make it in the chat because we got a professional grade mic, so I can't really hear myself, but y'all can hear me, so we good. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like I was saying, listen to that track when I leave you by the hell, man. There you go. First things first, yes, I'm matching my truck today. I'm matching my Buccaneers today. I'm matching the same energy that the Buccaneers give me. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Understood. Um, And what I honestly say is, like, I I mean, at the end of the day, this world is ran off hatred. Like, like, pretty much ran off, I ain't even say ran off hatred. I'm saying it's ran off opinion. Everybody got an opinion about something. There ain't really too many facts going on except the fact that I'm black and the fact that I look good and the fact that Miami got cheated yesterday. Uh, everything <laughs> else is an opinion. Like, opinion, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. he said that. It's an opinion. Damn, so the fact that I like, like everything <laughs> else is an opinion. And like I say, what people got, uh-huh. what AI said is the energy that I had to learn like way back when is, yeah, match the same energy. Like, if somebody don't like you, that's cool. Shit. You ain't got to like them back. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, that's why COVID kind of came at a better time. So when people don't like me, they can just social distance. Good call. Good call. Oh, what is it? A pause for a second? Oh, okay. Damn. Okay. Go ahead, Tony. I say COVID kind of came at a better time because all the people that don't like me, they just had to social distance and damn themselves away from me. Which it's a rare, but it is some people out there that don't like Tony motherfucking B. It's that's a, a good it. thing though, bro. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm too like That's a good it. thing, bro. That's a good thing that the person don't like you. But they know me. That means okay. you're you you are on their mind. You irk uh, their nerves. Okay. You got them don't want to eat. Do yeah. The shit they want to do. That nigga up to date, basically. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You up to date. Yeah. And like I tell them all, fuck them. It's not on child support. I ain't nothing to do with that child support. Oh. Hey, but see, this what I—that's why I was really trying to come at that because it's like, um, you know, I know that we're, you know, we're all, we don't, you know, we don't be on the earth for a long minute, and so yeah. I know we've all experienced in faith some long way or another the the point, you know, I'm just saying faith, <laughs> faith not receiving the same energy that you put out time and time again, you know what I'm saying with right. you know, with people, relationships, you know, partner, mm-hmm. um, everything, things like that, you know, it just it happens. That's why I was just like, you know, if, you know, can you really offend somebody, you know, by being yourself, by just being who you are? And, yeah. And, and, and I'll tell you, you the know, why you think it's like that? I'll you know, tell you uh, the person who offended me. Okay. It happened Friday. Okay. As I was right. driving to work. Okay. Listen to the Breakfast Club. Okay. Big Draco was on that motherfucker. <laughs> I never heard somebody so damn dumb in my life. <laughs> right, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I think that man played that. I think I'm like, is he? That part, man. Yeah. Is he really like this? He's the first rapper to do everything. Like, yeah. I'm like, bro, are you really this full of yourself, bro? Like, for real? You calling people? You calling grown ass men? 
bitch ass niggas all on the bed, all on the all they on the show. Shit. Pull up, I'm like, like bro, that's one of them fights that don't count. Yeah, yeah, because like, I'm looking, I'm looking at it, and you know when I had uh shout out to Revolt when I had watched it on YouTube on Flow, I'm looking like, is this man really serious right now? Yeah. Like you bowing up in front of Charlemagne about uh Young Dolph. Yeah, I mean. Not, not, not for nothing, but you know, if I'm looking at it from the way I'm looking at it, I'm going to side with Young Dolph. I think he more about that action than you is, Soldier, or, or, or Young Draco, or whatever the fuck. Soldier say he got the, the rap sheet to prove it. He, but I'm he, saying, Soldier he Boy Young had Dolph. a uh, he, super soaking hole. <laughs> I mean, and, and he Y'all did. remember the pop, pop. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I remember, you know, I, that's but like I say, that and uh, cut my swag on is the only two songs See, I know from thing, Soulja Boy. Only thing I don't like about it is when he's selling out. See, you talking about everybody got shot in the camp, y'all niggas did, y'all. bro. When a person gets shot, they don't play you about it. You know what I'm saying? All that gangster talk, but now you talking big, Soldier Boy. Yeah, you you talking gangster. Please stop, because. But, we'll but to me, to, to me, I think I noticed the underlying um, what it is not to be taken serious kind of note because he do it and then he retracts and then he like, yeah, you know, but we fuck with you, but yeah, but we listen to you. Yeah, but, but the whole thing, like, you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like I don't a, know, I don't know if he doing it because the T Glock just dropped the album and you know what I'm saying he was trying to help promote. I don't know, but it's all possible. It's all possible. Remember, nah, remember yeah, what? I'm sorry, the way yeah. the way he was tough talking on that yeah. damn show, and that, that ain't no promotion. That was like, like you can't say pull up and yeah, you can't say yeah, nigga come see about that's the internet like, though. Like you can't say that. So and then why you feel like you, you, say, why you think that cool. you can probably offend somebody by just saying who you are? I I, I know you talking big like that. I, man, I you can offend you somebody, like man. People like people people don't like what you do. If uh, you doing something good and it's known and, you know, I, I'm a cool person. You know what I'm saying? Speak. At times. At times. <laughs> okay. His opinion again. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm a, I'm a cool person. I'm a people's person. And some, some of people get mad about that, cause, you know, because people don't fuck with them. Like, damn. They ain't fuck with Jock, but they don't fuck with me. Like, man, who the fuck is that nigga? That nigga ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? So people get mad at small things. Like, right. Small things so, can so turn. So the fact that people's ego and they pride, they really their own I mean, ego. Niggas stop that. being gangsta all the right. time. Everybody, Have fun. Everybody just want to be relevant. To, right. You know, right. Everybody want to be relevant to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, like back in the days before uh, bro had got locked up, you know, I was always known as Lil Nate. And I hated that shit. Like, I wanted to be Tony motherfucking, Tony Dick. motherfucking Dick. I hated when, like, somebody called me Lil Nate. But when brother got locked up, I did every damn thing I could to make myself relevant to all the people in this world. Then when brother came home, I told him. I said, hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new sheriff this time. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I told him. Hey, I told hey, him. Bro. I told him. I said, hey, bro. Uh, look, you home now, but you been gone for a little minute. So I just want to let you know that. My shit. Hey, bitch, you going to be like, oh, you Tony D brother. It ain't that more little Nate shit. <laughs> and then just to show his shit saying, oh, you Tony D brother. Yeah, man. I'm out here. I'm really, really out here. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Uh, here you go. Big, big, big O. <laughs> you say big, big O. Big, big O. That's, that's the Ivan Lane on the cover. Hey. But, yeah, man. Yeah. Like I say, bro, at the end of the day, you can't control the way nobody feel about you. Whether it's uh, your mama, your daddy, your oochie coochie grandmammy, um, your friend, your homie, your friend of a friend. You know, because I don't see some cats rolling together like me and Jock, we cool, but Jock might fuck with somebody that don't fuck with me, but we all just riding together right now. But mm-hmm. me and him know we don't fuck with each other, but we got a mutual friend that we respect. So Jock could be like, oh man, bro, y'all need to squash that shit, but me and this nigga don't want to, so we just gonna still be, but we gonna hang out with Jock because Jock cool. And Jock is like the 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 neutral zone, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And it'd be like that. I mean, I haven't ran across that incident in a while, cause uh But I done uh, ran across that before. If I if I hang out with that somebody and you hang out with me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. done ran but but see that that is one of them situations.
situation where, let's say, y'all two beefing, okay. and I'm cool with both of y'all. Right. Now, depending on what the situation is, I don't know, bro. I might have to cut somebody off. Cause oh, Lord. None, who? Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all listen. It got to be a reason. Okay. Now, I want to know the reason why y'all niggas beefing. And if, behind the bitch. Right, right. Uh, if a nigga beefing by the uh, uh, bitch, one, uh, ten one, times, uh, out of ten, bro, I'm ten sorry. Time, all right, I'm nine and a half bitch. times. I'm not gonna say bitch. Nine and a half times out of ten, a uh, Nubian about queen. A, about a woman, yes. Uh, if a, uh, a if a man is beefing by a Nubian queen, like y'all need to talk that out. Y'all should all sit down. Yeah, like but, it can be like like if it's beef on some disrespect. Or just 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 beef like oh he he done hit my Nubian queen but I and I'm mad about that. But my point is that my thing is with that even with that like you can't get mad. You at can't the get nigga. mad at that. You king. got to look at yeah. You, right. I mean yeah. excuse me. You can't get mad at. If the he other take brother. it, you got to you got to look at it? who you dealt right. with, bro. You know that's who, that's who you chose to lay up right. with or chose to you know call yours or. Or have babies by so you bro, got guess to, what? You, got you to look can at have that. this Nubian queen and I ain't even beef with you, bro. Like straight animals over here. No hacker. Listen. That's why these yeah. niggas be ready to do a hundred years to brother and put y'all remember the chicken one y'all remember the cat? The cheat. The cheat. Um, um, um what is it? Got the cheat. Uh you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You ready All to die, in the room. Man? Yeah, see. Uh, you <laughs> hell no, I ain't ready to die. You ready to die? Nah, bro. You really ready to die. So you, you got remember, it. You remember yeah, that? I remember that nigga standing on the bed. Standing on the bed. And get your ass out of my house. You, you finna get your weird. <laughs> no, nigga, you weird. <laughs> and y'all ain't you. She yeah. ready to die. Y'all, y'all, y'all be watching BMF or no? Yeah, I fuck with BMF. You know, uh, that's uh. What his name is? The the crazy one in the show? Lamar. Yeah, that's Lamar. Yo, yeah, yeah. That's the you know, that know. Fact. Hey, matter of fact, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Lamar feel, just like that. I feel <laughs> like they allowing his character kind of to run rampant because, you know, he gives that he gives that Kanan and that uh Tyreek vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like Actually, he gives that 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 be remind me of a uh, more crazy or Omar. Or 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 they say Tommy. No, nah, no, nah, that bit he he on he like Omar, just yeah. on another level. Yeah, I, 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 and I, if y'all I, notice, Jock being Jock, crying, hey, Jock that's because Jock, Jock still haven't watched BMF, even though we don't told him like twenty damn times. But still haven't watched BMF. Jock got a whole hey, bunch man. of other shit he gotta watch. Listen, oh, hey, I I really, nah, I ain't gonna even tell my story, but I really, hey, I really, I fuck with BMF. That's that's oh, what's up. Oh, and another thing I think we should start doing, I'm gonna take it upon myself. I'm gonna try and stay consistent with it. Movie of the week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna Big try fact. and stay consistent with it, y'all. Big okay. Fact. Whatever I, movie I, y'all see, or I watch something I'm, good, or I see show. something, a show or something that I think yeah, y'all should I'm watch, I'm gonna put y'all up on game because my my sense and my taste in movies is is pretty damn good. I'm not even gonna. Play. Let me ask you a question. What's that, Grace? You one of those ones that just watch like like binge? How can I say like movies? Love movies, happy. You nah, know what I'm saying? I watch all. I watch all types of movies. I ain't really into the whole love movie shit. I mean, I watch them, but like, I ain't really into. I'm more so like action. I like action. I love the thrillers. I love those movies. Those, uh, you know, like Three Hundred. Those type of movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Troy. Yeah, those type yeah. of movies. Those are my shit right there. I'm but I had watched. I'm not, um, bro. I'm so. I'm, I'm so weird. Bro. I'm so. See, the first step is admitting that you're weird. Yeah, you I'm weird. Can, I'm way, you can just I'm go way on. Fuck over there. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm into some anime shit. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, I, yeah. I like to see some real cool, I ain't never seen kick-ass anime shit. Some yeah, assassin see, type I shit. Know. I like the assassin type shit. I like that type of... So, I, honestly, I don't think it's weird. I think it's more real. I mean, it, right? To because be a lot honest, of that shit has a, real basis and real meaning to a lot it's of It's a lot of really those people that watch that. Cartoons. Yeah, it gets a lot of people anime. that watch all that. <coughs> I, I, I ain't one of those. I am, people. yeah. I'm not one I of those. I mean, I, I got a co-worker. He loves that, too. Shout yeah, out to him. Everybody got a co-worker that got that. Yeah, yeah I, I got two co-workers. Like, like I say, bro, I feel like it's the same thing with the balance in, in the energy. It's kind of like how we kind of, you know, when we 
you're talking about that energy now. It's like you can't really, you know, if you already know you, you gangster, you hood and shit, you ain't finna be riding around all the time with some gangster rap shit, nigga. You you got some of them oldies in that motherfucker, yeah. bitch. Oh, yeah, man. You, I got ain't gonna some, lie. you got some shit that's gonna slow nah. you down and put you on the, you get what I'm saying? That's gonna zone you out. You ain't. Just, you name a, a gangster that don't rap a female, well, sing or rap a female song. I ain't gonna say about the female, but I would definitely say old school. Some old school. Old school. A female I, you know song. What I'm I mean, I mean, like, yeah, I'm, yeah I mean, you got your Lauren I'm, Hills, you got I, your, you I, know, I'm, I, I'm I, too, I'm too gangster to be riding down the street, uh, saying Cardi B words and words. I, I bet yeah, you, I ain't, nah, I, I bet you any kind of old, money. She be sliding. I, I bet you any kind of money. money. What's that song? Real Lab Bitch. <laughs> when that part come on, I, yeah, I, I bet you sing it. I don't know that nah, part. Me. You a damn I'm lie. I'm with Tony from DLD. See the girl, you up in the club, and when that came on. Yeah, but I like, it's like. Bruh, it's no. like certain songs. Did you say it, though? No. You lying. I swear. Because I mean, it's like, you ain't got it's like, it's like certain songs, I go to looking for the chick to be turned up. Like, that's to me. That was a, like, that's a, the that's that's girl, a chick song. Meg The Stallion, um, Cardi B. So you think they received Nicki the same Nicki Minaj. Energy? I think, so huh? You think they received the same energy they put out? I think that, yeah. I think their music is centered to, for the girl, the girls to like, you know, they basically like the mystical you, and, you know. The reason I, why I say that is because, remember, it's like they put out this music, but they lead a different life. That's music. Well, that's music. That's what, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. That's I mean, just like Young Gun G. You remember, he had us riding around with bricks in the car. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and, uh. What the fuck you mean, us? Uh? I'm just saying, <laughs> our, I'm mind, get me in trouble. <laughs> our mindset. We have yeah. bricks for real people. Okay. When you say bricks, I'm just saying. About like the red one for the I'm just saying. The red whenever, bricks, the red. Listen. <laughs> I'm just saying. We already got flag for Clorox. I know you're talking about bricks. Uh, yeah, we did. Oh my yeah. God. Listen. No, more it's, no, I'm saying the music. Jesus, back in the day, trap or die. You know what I'm saying? I it, have, it had your mindset like you rhyme with $100,000 and nigga, you ain't got nothing but 20 in your pocket. Right. I'm strapped up. Right. And ain't, no, ain't nothing out. in there but a damn spare tire. Nigga, <laughs> you, know, you know what's so funny about that? Is it's that a lot of that out. stuff was, you know, our lifestyle to the point where it was. Here we go we, again. Not no, 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 our. Wait a minute. I'm just saying. I'm just talking about. I'm not, talking no, about no. Of, I, I've been, been a working man since I was 16 years old. L- listen. Me too. I've never me, sold me any three. type of drugs. Me too. I never did any type of drugs. All right, me so too. We can't go that far. All those most people think that I have, I promise you, I have not. You used to do coke. No, I used to drink coke. A uh, cola. I'm just, hey, I'm just playing. Hey, Pure right, man. cocaine. Pure right, cocaine. man. Damn, oh, man. man. Yeah, but. All right, damn. All right, all right, listen. All I'm saying is, is that we, it's like, to me, for Jeezy, like, listening to Jeezy, to me, it was like, you know, the fly shit really, really is what fell on my ears because it's like the other shit, like I said, was often a part of, you know, the reality uh, mm-hmm. of things around us or how we grew up. So it was like, that's really not new. You know, we ain't really, you know, we ain't preaching nothing that, that don't new. Yeah, but, you, you know, I like, to that kind I like of the freshness of this shit. Oh, yeah, I like you the, see what I'm saying? I like the punchlines in my yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, you gotta, you, yeah. For a rapper, for a rapper, you gotta have, like, punchlines. You can't just be, yeah, he punch I'm out here shooting, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't care about that right there. Yeah. Like, I like when you put shit in perspective of way nobody ain't looking at, you know. Because everybody know that the part Will Smith said back in the day, two miles an hour, so everybody see you. Mm-hmm. But then yeah. Jesus coming that bitch real slow, how I drive past, got everybody watching, sweating like a gym class. I say, oh shit. Man, I, like, I went to the gym and did about five push ups mm-hmm. and one pull up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that. I'm just saying to you up and coming rappers, you have to catch, catch a glance of the show. I'm just, you know, tired of all put these. more metaphors back in your lyrics, man. I'm just, everybody just straightforward. They right. killing and all the so other shit. I'm like, just uh, tired of just, all the, because this is new music by. Taking drugs, they you turn everybody to junkies. Well, we knew that's what was gonna happen after that. But guess what? I seen someone that said that you can't really blame music for what's going on, and they was just saying that crime and all this other kind of stuff was happening way before that. I mean, so I agree with that. What? How y'all feel? Because you know that's part I of the who energy. Who said that? Uh, energy 
future. Future say, I I drop a mixtape, watch the crime go up, or something like that. He said, mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. true though, because it's what they were saying is that before music really hit gang or like gangster rap, well, you know, back in seven, uh, what it was seventy seven, they said, well, before that, the crime rate was up high. So what the hell, you know, you got that lane before that. Drugs. I mean, that was when that <coughs> that was when that crack rock era then. Right. Me, 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 crack like ghetto dope. Right. But to, to me, honestly, it's just really the, the media and how they kind of flip and twist everything. You know, they put it to the point where it's like, man, like you say, like they said, people that are normally around, you know, people, you know, like don't kill whites. Like, don't kill whites. Like, but we never hear that white and white term knowledge. We never hear Hispanic on Hispanic. We never hear those terminologies. So why we only hear black on black? Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying like, so I just wanted to kick that little, little knowledge off. Black on black crime. Crime. Said, white but, on white crime. Yeah, it's just like no one hears that. It's, so it's something that's sellable. It's something that can continue to get you to or continue to get the youth to, you know, what you want to say, parade behind. I think it's a, a behind. well, I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not mad about it because that, that can, that basically is showing us that we knocking down our own community when they say black on black crime. That yeah. stop. But that they stop say it's a reason. It, right. But uh, see, they say it's a reason. That is the excuse that's given to for them to do. You know. I mean, to uh, be honest, it ain't people. no excuse because it's it's pure facts. When if we living in the same community. Uh-huh. Everybody damn near know somebody. Mm-hmm. So I rather that is really black on black. The the hoods is in one big square. You got Richmond Heights, Carver Shores, Pine Hills, Cross Town, Mercer Drive, uh all us in one big Ivy square. Ivy Lane. Ivy Lane, I'm sorry, I'm so I'm sorry. I was gonna say Daniel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll say he better say it. No, man, you know what I'm saying? Poke, you got poking beans, man. You you got, you got Washington that. Shores. You got only hood that is on the outskirt is Tangelo. Tangelo, <laughs> Tangelo is their own little part. They they own little they in their own little <laughs> world over there. And back in the day, you know Tangelo I, I was hell. Say, you don't think Easy was out that way too? Like the, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. You got the same like well, you Tangelo. You got Easy on the outskirts of it and Apopka, but yeah. they on the outskirts. Well, them boys down. Hey, them some motherfuckers that way. It was in, some, well, I know back hey. in the day, Ingvi was some strappers out there at the well, time. Hey, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Popka was. Yeah, Popka was sir. some strappers uh, out there. Uh, Popka was. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, sir. And, um, what had some wild Caribbean. Boys, man. Uh, Popka was strappers at Caribbean, yeah, Caribbean. Headlight, Palladium. But see, you know, the crazy part about that is, is, is just like, I don't know if Tony D can probably relate to this, but, you know, with G, I really brought a lot of that shit together, really. Because at the end of the day, you knew somebody from one of those clips because of yeah, Evan. school. Evan, I mean, Evan. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. That's when I that's when I was uh, when I went to Evans. That's when I started being comfortable with you know sliding through Pine Hills because I wouldn't go past Mercy. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Man. I just heard stories. I wouldn't go past Mercy. Hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I was everywhere, so I ain't. I, I was, was everywhere because yeah, I went I to everywhere. J High. Yeah, I was everywhere. See, you was everywhere, but and listen, you, you was everywhere, but uh, over there with them soldiers. Or Hold on, like time out, time out. Now this is where you're wrong, and I'm gonna prove it to you. <laughs> J High Finest here worked at Win Dixie on Silver Star and Pine Hill. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, that who, who? So huh? guess, yeah, I got that track uh-huh. record. Uh-huh. So yeah, how about this? Shirt, so they didn't know where you was from. Who? How they know where I'm from? It must be ours in here. And wow, the girls, he can't stand who? Everybody <laughs> that came from, uh, and I used to drive to work. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I ain't have no car. I called the city bus. I was 18. All right, listen. listen. Hey, so quick question. Go ahead. Totally off topic, but just because I mentioned the city bus, and all we all got kids in here, right? Right. Have any of y'all kids ever asked y'all, can they ride the city bus or can they, they want to ride the city bus? Never. Bro, listen, Taylor want to ride the city bus. I think I might it. take her on a trip. I never, Man, I don't I even know how much it is now. It's like $13. You for oh, real? Fuck, no. I didn't know. Well, oh, I was going to say, that's, that's, that's last, time I, heard, last, time, I heard it, last <laughs> time I heard it was like $5 to get on the bus there. For real? You lying. It can't be that much. It ain't five. It might be. It may be. I don't know, cause the price of gas. Yeah, bro. The price of gas. It might be right. the price of gas at this point. I say 
day, I'm gonna say I'm gonna take my baby out one day. We're gonna catch the bus in Alvarez, ride up there all the way downtown, and come walk back. around downtown. We're gonna go on the bus and come back just so she can get that shit out. I mean, but it's all it's, it's all cheapest, it's, it's all the cheapest fun it's date all that nice I can ever do. Now, like the uh, you know, I'm just saying, like it ain't the old buses downtown, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, remember, yeah, 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 I remember the old yeah, one that was the, the okay. old one. Yeah, now, right. now that's the fire station. Yeah, that's the fire station. So that's all Ember. You, yeah. <laughs> now, Ember always been there. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, that yeah, Ember was always there. No, Ember wasn't there. Yeah? It was, it was oh, okay. all that little right there. It was always on the other side of that. Side of that but every, the, parking everything, lot, the parking lot. The yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. everything beyond that point was yeah, right. But, but uh, right there, see, uh, right see, kids don't understand how when you jump on the bus and go downtown to hit the exchange. Exchange, to buy your CD. Listen, the exchange was like the best thing ever. Yeah, yeah sir. I, you yeah. had to be. See, that's when you had to have that I shit was on. Real that, little talk to him. You had to have that <laughs> shit on at the exchange because the exchange was the one place where the name actually fit. You exchange your phone numbers with chicks because you know I go to Evans. Right. I mean, chicks right. go to Oak Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anything, anything. And then if you couldn't pick them up at the exchange, you go home and jump on the chat I think on everybody. Everybody's thing was to hit the exchange. I mean, you ain't even. You done passed your house to go back to downtown to yeah. hit the exchange. Hit the exchange, especially if you know a CD dropping. Yeah. Everybody's going to be down there, bitch. What? And it's man, say the chat that's line. That's yeah, you got to hit the chat that's line, bro. Bit, uh, Mysterious uh, Mystical, if y'all was ever looking bit. for him, here I am. I am Jerry Springer. <laughs> hey. What was your chat line name, PJ? I'm mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's right. Money, as long as it's some money. Hey, Look, it's some, it's some and, money. And shout out to cell phones, man, because, th- I mean, I was just happy when they came out because it was no more parents eavesdrop. You know, they pick up the phone. Nigga, who you on the phone hey, with? And they just listen to your whole you conversation. Knew that, you knew when that phone picked up. Nah, you nah, nah. That phone picked up. You because they'll that hold down, they'll up. hold down the little dial. They'll hold down, down, and just ease up slow. Yeah, really? so you don't hear that click. Y'all man. ain't listen. Y'all ain't. Real I remember. Real. I remember. I, hey, I pay attention me, to the me, details. Me and my ex, me and one of my exes, we used to be on the phone uh, late. We used to be on the phone late, and we'll be talking about what we need to be talking about. But we used to refer to that bitch as cleaning up the bathroom. She'd be like, "Oh, I can't wait to come over there so we can I can help you clean up your bathroom." <laughs> that was our way of saying, "Yeah, yeah we finna hey, get it on." We, we because we I've been, was, I've been on that bitch like. Yeah, cause hold on, she, so hold on, this when, shit, what you doing with hey, these so fast ass girls in yeah, my house? No, I was good. I was hey, good. I was good, I was good on my yeah, end. Yeah, you know it. what I'm saying? She was just letting me you know what the plan was, but just in case her people was listening, they ain't know what we was talking about. And we and they probably did know what we was talking about, but you know we thought we was smart right, because as hell. it's too weird. It's too weird. Yeah, yeah, the back. The back. Bro, that shit that's too weird. Crazy bro. Cold that's crazy. Hey, what they call that? Hey, Red flag. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, bro. Play. Like Man I say, play. when you like 17, you think that makes perfect sense. Oh, they don't know we talking yeah, about sex. Yeah, they, I think you, they think you really think. You know, Only thing, oh, my problem was ass, Pops and uh, Mom's gone to bed, so I got off at about 9, 9.30 from Winn-Dixie. Mm-hmm. So my thing is, when I get home, I got to, as soon as the phone rings, I got to pick that bitch up quick because that bitch ringing all around the house. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Listen, hey, bro. Yeah, hey, bro. I'm giving, I'm giving y'all a good question, though. Okay. That go to the top of that. Soon as we all come to Well, go ahead, now. Nah. What happened? Hey, are you keeping that same energy with the <laughs> Oh, <'cause laughs> see, Ain't it's no house true. phone. Yeah, it's different because hey. it, it's cell phones. I mean, like I say, when uh, Taylor is of age to get a cell phone, the one requirement what she will have from me is there's never a lock code. And if there is a lock code, I need to know every last one of them. Okay. See, see, uh, because if I if I be like, give me your phone right now, keeping that same you ain't you ain't you ain't deleting the shit. I'm gonna keep that same energy, but I want. How can I say it? Uh, I don't want to be one of them crazy daddies, but I will be a crazy daddy. I just don't want you on the phone doing all that crazy shit. You put like what like it's 
<laughs> like, you remember us? Well, yeah, us back in the days, right. it wasn't, hey. it wasn't uh, where you could send pictures. I told y'all, I ain't talked on the phone, but yeah, oh, okay, I got you. You get what I'm saying? I got you. I now, understand. now, now that this new, be sent. pictures can be sent now. Okay. And so, hey, I understand that. Yeah, man. see, that that's the thing. And uh, as soon as he started talking like that, uh-uh, leave him alone. That nigga got an STD. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of STD, then, then we just, never mind. Then we'll go, you know, we just what? <laughs> then we just read a good story about, uh, oh, yeah, somebody in a hot spring just that just magically come up with it. Uh, a uh, uh, person. Come and tell me some shit like that. Uh, a person. What's up, Golden? Golden tell Child. Me shit like that. And watch what I, what I tell you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, but look. Basically, at the end of the day, you messed that. Well, I don't, I don't want to say this. Everybody ain't going to like you. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. Everybody going to like you. And that's okay, too. You will have you more people. Everybody ain't going to like you, and everybody going to like you. Yeah. yeah. You will have hey. more people to fuck with you than more people to hate you. Right. At the end of the day, for every five friends you got, you got one person to hate you. Yeah. So, you just do it like that. I don't, you know what? I don't think that that's the issue. I think it's the issue with the one that you don't know that that's the friend that to hate. But it's the small thing. You can always keep a hater. Yeah, man. You can, Boy, you can no always down, keep Paul. a hater. Hey. Listen, some hey, you, you do this, they right. they be like, nah, man, I don't know why the hell you doing that. That's, that, role, that ain't go work. Uh, Tony got a gonna play that role. Tony got a business. Okay, hey Josh, I got my my yard business. Oh no, nah, Tony, you tripping, man? You don't need to be doing that. The yard business is garbage right now. Okay, well, hey Josh, I'm about to, I'm about to open this nice restaurant. No, nah, man, you don't need to do it. Everything negative. Bro, Kenna, you hype me up on you think, stuff. You think everything? You think everything? Negative? I don't think that everything no, is negative from from a, from a person that I got to support what my dog. What he's saying is, at the end of the day, you gotta support you like me. I got to support. <clears throat> when Tony opened that business, guess what? Hey, bro. Hey, Tony got a uh, yard I'm, business. I'm glad. Listen, listen. Hold on. Let me give you a round of applause. I'm glad that y'all brought that to this point. I'm happy because the support part. So, how do y'all feel about that? If you put energy out and you're supporting your, you know, your own boys mm-hmm. or your, you know, your girl or whoever, you know, your family, friend, and that's not reciprocated. So, you know what I'm saying? Are you still good with continuing putting that type of energy out? Well, what you mean when you say reciplicate? Like, they like, like, like what I'm trying to say. Like, you, I believe now, in now, kickback, just like, just like, just like, um, just like uh, Jock just said. All right, Tony, you just did your business now. Did you did you receive any of that same energy that you put forth on somebody else yet? You see what I'm saying? That that you know you don't but you know you don't put forth the right, right. Yeah, no, nah, because like, I can't be I'm sorry to cut you off, brother. Liar. I can't be uh, mad at Tony because he ain't support me. Right. I ca- I can't be mad at because I'm not Tony. Ain't no telling what Tony got going on. But hey, if Tony tell one person, I'm cool with that. Right. So Tony and tell one person. If one person hey, because I talked to Tony, he sent me this way, boom. He said something. He ain't got to go every day, all day and, throwing and, shit on Facebook. And, and then you gotta no, no, yeah, no, no, like, that ain't been talking about that either. But, and then hey, but that, that's gotta, another facet to you, it. Yeah, yeah. You also gotta like, you know what I'm saying, know the atmos know the atmosphere. So like boom. Jock might okay. dabble in DJ from time to time. You know, me and Jock don't rap. Dabble, my dog. I mean, you know, Jock, that shit. you don't, you don't know, you don't know, because if I would have said Jock, would be like, I don't DJ, I just work. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck gonna come up out of Jock's mouth, so I tried to beat him to the punchline. And, and I just told him, yeah, that this is nice to talk that shit. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I'll be like, Jock a DJ. No, I'm not. I'm like, okay, he isn't a DJ. What are you today, Jock? You run the MC. <laughs> nah, that nigga fucked up. I was about to say my Adidas, but I looked at that bitch out on Nike. Yeah, 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 yeah. And a Florida State yeah, shirt. Right, right, man, yeah. I've got to be more careful. Well, I, listen, man, I had to get him. <laughs> that bitch, that bitch literally say, oh, yeah, this look clean. That yeah. looks right. All it right. match. All the colors match. Let's go. Drop Michael Obama out. <laughs> <laughs> wait, man. wait, wait. Wait, that's how I say, hey, he putting on that, he putting on that, you said, oh, that, yeah. that says you, sir. But, no, no. Now, let me ask y'all a question, because this mm-hmm. is one thing that I ran into. 
do when you doing a business like you doing your own thing, mm-hmm. can you like why are we so hard with accepting criticism? Because we always just think you know we doing it right. Like for instance, I had a customer. Okay. She she said like I was uh, blowing the grass in her flower bed, and I was like, no, I wasn't. And then she said I was doing something else wrong, and I was like, no, I didn't. You know, and then they had, I had to actually sit back and realize, like, once they snapped on my ass, like, look, I'm paying you for a service. I know we cool and all, but I expect, you know, you can't keep clapping back at me. And I had to realize that, you know what, you're right. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe I do need to re- okay. but because, you know, in my mind, I'm just like, oh, no, nah, bitch, I do your yard immaculate. I told you, know you that, I told you with that business because he started off, oh, man, the people love me. I said, bro, you go bump into an angry customer one day. And that's a part of a... Them motherfuckers angry. Hey, listen. <laughs> them motherfuckers man, angry. I told him. I fired myself on one day, y'all. That ain't true. I told him. Hey, that nigga you, wanted me to pick up every drink. He, he is right a good at what he do, but yeah, it's yeah. going to be that one customer. That is every business. It don't matter. If a person's spending money, somebody go complain. Right. Because, I mean, and I, I guess because me, I look at it as... You already know what you're doing, so I'm not right. going to come out here and critique you unless, like, I cut your yard. I, I don't put pat to my shit. I'm growing it's a big ass patch of grass still sitting right in that bitch that I ain't even touch. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna tell you about that shit. But like I said, at the end of the day, her criticism, shout out to her, uh, helped me understand it better. So when I get other customers that I don't know, mm-hmm. I, I simply say, okay, yeah, I'll take care of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I knew that at work. You, you okay. know, oh man, you guys forgot to put the oil sticker up. Oh, I apologize. You know what? I'm gonna take the car in the back. I'm gonna have it washed up for you. And now they like, what the fuck is that? It's like, it's yeah. just customer service, right? Whenever you have a business. But what about when they say they don't like your attitude? Like what? Them. What did you say? Sometimes I, yeah, sometimes I'm I don't not, like hey, it. I'm not here to. Hey, I'm not here Jock to conversate the, with you. I just want to make it clear that Jock is I'm a smart ass individual. When it comes down to being, like, I thought I was bad at, like, being sarcastic to the customers but not being rude at the same damn time. Like, yeah, being man. direct, letting them know that they're stupid, but not being rude at the same right. time. I'm going to talk to them professional. And um, so you mean tell me we didn't do this? Okay, all right, well, I'm going to take you outside, point out that we did do this. And is there anything else we can help you with? Right. Like, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something so funny. I got this one, I got this one homeboy, right? He had he he shot with me or whatever at my job, but he hadn't been up there in a while, and he buys like this particular product that we all out of. He was like, "Yeah, man, uh, this other company they won't sell it to the public. Like y'all sell it to the public, you gotta have a contract." So I know he wasn't licensed to do what he do. Mm. So I said, "Oh, bro, you got license?" And he was like, "Nah, I go in there under somebody else's account, and I use their account. That's how I get my stuff." I said, "Oh, so you don't got license, but they still sell it to you though, because you're up under somebody else's account." And then he realized that, like, bitch, yeah, yeah. the same shit you talking, a bitch coming to me to tell me the exact same thing. I work for this company. The only thing I'm going to do is say, okay. Yeah. And write that shit up. I'm not asking you for any credentials right, to right. show me that you worked up. I say, so you think they're protecting your ass yeah. and they make you believe they're protecting your ass, but think about what the hell you're doing right now. Yep. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't even know why the hell we talk about this shit. It's just, okay. this is where I went and shit. That's fucking right. retarded. Nah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Mm. Okay. I didn't mean to that. say retarded. Don't cancel me. Cause you said you said the fact that the energy that like when it's taking that you know uh, uh, constructive uh, criticism and things like that uh, from yeah. you know your clients and things like that of that sort. That's that's just the growing pains of business. You know what I mean? So person it, spending money. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And and the thing about you know what? And I was just really trying to think like like does that need to be a show because I hear it so often out of people's mouths is like uh complaining. Is is complaining really bad? Like we, we look at complaining as something that's just it's it, like I, I feel like it's demonized. But it if somebody's be. paying for something, like why can't they expect because why can't no, they no, expect it's one thing to ex- before you, you even finish that, it's one thing to expect, it's another thing to demand. Right. You feel me? Like you expect something I might not li- all right, perfect example. You go out there and you do a plumbing job. Now, I don't look on YouTube, and I seen the way it's supposed to be done. 
So I'm expecting you to. I'm, 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 hold on. So, so I'm expecting you to do it the exact same way I do it on YouTube. But this is your professional. You know how to do it. So right. you don't do it the way I seen it on YouTube. Hey, you do it a different way, right? right? Like we had one time. Yeah, yeah something right. like we was in it right there. I'm not even close up there. Right now, but okay. All right, but what I'm trying to say is like I'm, I'm not bothered by it. What I do is just take that time to just like God say, be reassured. You know, hey, this is this is. You know, I got this. You feel what I mean, man? Right. I go through that all the time. Yeah, you you have especially, to do that with people. especially in the car business. Okay, uh, how much is this off now? Eight fifty. How long it take to uh, replace it? We go by book time. You're you're a business person. You go by book time. If it say two point five hours, we go by two point five. If it take the technician. An hour, we can't charge an hour. We, we go by, it depends on that worker. Right, right. If Tony can cut a whole yard, and he told people uh, he can do this and do this in an hour, you can tell people you do the pipes, and that, that shit might take Tony half an hour. Trim, Ed, and all that. Wait, hold on. Hold you, the you, only person losing from you my end, though, is me, though, because that's... <laughs> no, because you can go by book time. Yeah. The book time say three hours. I'm charging you three hours. If it take me half an hour to do it, cause I'm experienced, I'm good at it. I'm still charging you three hours. Right. You can't be mad at and that. That's a business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I just go to the shade tree mechanic. And that's the reason you back <laughs> over at my shop. <laughs> Look, bitch, how much you gonna, you gonna try me to put? I, I don't ain't. want no goddamn hour. I time. promise you, bro. We. Bro, I see that all the time. Oh, hell no, y'all cost too much. And guess what? Two weeks later, can I set an appointment? He ain't do it right. Mm. Know what I'm saying? So Yeah, 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 that shit happened too. Mm. Yeah, trust me, I got I got uh I got that kind of Hey, can you come down on the it's it's too high. I mean, I can, can, and, oh, you know <laughs> hey, um yeah, they uh they did it but you know had some people to to do it for me. So can you just come get it? Like, like it's this one of those not. ones that I've don't been call, dealing with. Don't call yeah, me. I've been don't call One me. thing about it though, don't call if me. this one of them ones that I've been dealing with for years, uh, good attitude. You know what I'm saying? I can work out something with you. If I've but if this one of them years, ones you know, that, me like that, oh, my tire pressure is low. Now that shit off by one psi. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? That ain't really low. That just that just complain about everything. No, I can't. No, ma'am, th- this the price here. I'm sorry. Ain't nothing I can do. Sorry. There's nothing I can okay. do. Hey, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be the number one. You don't have to pay me. I'm damn sure trying to run your ass off that price. Listen. That bit can be that bit can be twelve dollars. I'm like twenty four fifty. <laughs> Always remember this, Tony. Up twenty, down ten. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Up twenty, down ten. Man, listen, I'm trying to up. Up seventy five and down. <laughs> Listen, now, I mean, you just have to. Uh, like I ain't, I ain't enough trying to cut yeah. everybody here, but damn. Yeah, I mean, I ain't, listen. Trust me, in my field, I ain't, I ain't worried about. It. I'm not in the, in the business of really cutting heads because you know it's enough of us out there. That it's enough of people in my field that do that already. It's so enough. You feel what Everybody got. So it. I feel like. So I feel like. Hey, y'all keep on, y'all keep on getting them because y'all gonna keep sending them my way. So that's how I feel about it. You feel that? All mean? of us got competition. Tony, ain't nobody like me. I'm my competition. Yeah, it is. I'm my own competition. I right. mean, it is, though, because, I mean, like I say, shit, a lot of people tell me my I hear a lot of people saying, oh, you too hot. I hear a lot of people saying, you yeah, actually, you kind of cheap. So I don't know where the hell I'm at right now on my price. I just stick to what I know and keep it keep it moving. I ain't got no yard man no more. Yeah, he went to put up a fence and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no yard man no more? That nigga put up a fence and we all put up a fence. Fuck you, my friend. And but it's like uh, amigo, like he don't even talk. He ain't even come by my (laughs) house. He don't even come (laughs) ring the doorbell no more. I'm like, no man, no man. Hey, I don't know where buddy at. Oh, like he he He, want he bro. I got his phone number. He's probably going through some things right now, man. How? I need to find him. He might need to just put a card out the door. Bro, put a card on the fence. Say for the yard man. Bruh. And, and just tell them, you Listen. know, I thank you for your all your service and your Bruh. support. You know what I'm saying? You need me to go I up be at work. I'll be at like, work. You know what I'm saying? Go it up can be Wednesday. 
it'd be a Wednesday. And I'm like, why my alarm? Like, I keep getting an alert from the ring. Right. Where that nigga on that Ryan Lomo slaying it, going. I can't never, like, bro, I call his phone, he don't answer. And this is way before, so I just have to catch him when he come around. Maybe he found out that you won the account that he was supposed to be saved. <laughs> Shit, he came to me. <laughs> he was supposed to be coming to your head, though. No, hey, it ain't no account. Hey, he is hey, no person. Hey, 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 for all these years, he thought he was Bruh. cutting them. Bro, that man charged me twenty dollars. I think twenty hey, or twenty five. He, he thought that that was his tip, man. Yeah, <laughs> bro, shit. He should have. He should have said so. If he wanted extra, hey, I would. Hey, wait, hey, you don't get it. You hey, don't think that, you don't think that that's possible? I, that I, somebody can be cutting the cutting the yard of somebody that's, that's been me. paying them because they've been, you know, what I'm saying. No, bro, no, because the, then that was the tip. I walked up on him because I was getting ready to cut my yard. And this was during the summer. Okay. Man, it was hotter than hell out there. And get what? I seen him up the street taking the lawnmower off the trailer. And I rolled down there asking how much he charged. He said, okay, I'll come down there and look at it. Came down there and he I'm told me the price. I said, do it. I said, can you do it now? He like, yeah. And they knocked it out. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. The problem is. He gave me the price. He want, I know. I'm tell, but, listen, see, listen, one thing hey, about listen, it is, listen. I'm telling you from experience. Okay, well, right, Tony, am I lying? Yeah, because I, I got to show you that bitch. Listen, I'm coming from experience, bro. Because okay. listen, remember, I just had remember, remember, I had somebody that was cutting my yard. Okay. All right. So when what happened was is that they wanted to they wanted to go up and they didn't want to do it and they didn't want to. You see what I mean? Like we tried to come through. It okay. just, I don't know, but like you said, the communication ain't really there. It's like, and it just if the prices like are going up, tell me. I, that's, that's, but see, that'd be like, that'd be you. like the hardest. Thank you. But not no flex. That's like, like the hardest conversation to have with people because the people already be feeling like they're overpaying. Bro, so that if is I tell you not like, the hardest. Con- and that's why I just tell a bit on the dribble. Whatever the fuck I want, I'm, bro, that's what it is. What you got to realize is that is not the hardest thing to do. The prices on on uh gas going up. Why why the people ain't talk to us? See, that's what I'm saying. Oh no, nah, they damn sure ain't gonna talk to us. It's it, exactly. So it's the price of ma- ma- materials, mm-hmm. fluids, oils, everything is going up. Naturally and so don't nobody tell us nothing. The business owners, the people that those weed eaters and blade. You probably got a uh blade a year ago for a dollar. For a dollar, not at this six ninety nine. Why ain't nobody say. tell me nothing? So that it, that it, yeah, it, 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 what it is, it, excuse me, ma'am. Starting next month, prices on the the yard work going up another ten dollars. The fuck they tell you about? Ooh, All right, I, I gotta go because I. What you talking about? The hell, like it when my boys are down with it. They need they need my right, no support, we'll, man. We'll get into the we'll get into the other right day. Like I just I'm just trying to tell you, like I think that you know, um, for one, so it's not wrong to is it wrong to feel some type of way if you put out some energy that you don't receive back. Is it is it wrong for you to you know what I'm saying like is that a is that a negative way of looking at it or should you be to the point of, of that and thing like if you don't you like if you have it to give should you be in the mindset of if you if somebody asks you for something and you got it to give mm-hmm. you know you giving it without respect you know expecting it back anyway yeah you see what I'm saying mean, should it be okay. should it be that energy or should it just be the simple fact that you know because I'm trying to tell you I don't know how many people probably have friendships relationships or income. Where they are putting some energy out there and they just expect to get it back that same way. And, and that's another thing about this whole thing, this mm-hmm. whole conversation, because oftentimes, and if you know how the, how the universe and the world work, like that energy don't come back the way that you put it out. You see what I'm saying? It comes back in a different form. I think it depends. Well, I ain't going to say it depends. See, when a person do some out of kindness of their heart, that is that person. Like, I wouldn't ex- expect everybody to give you the same love. Sometimes I don't even want, want, the, want the love back. It's, it's just me. 
You know what okay. I'm saying? It just, I don't know. Like, I guess everybody's just different. Everybody's just different. Everybody's different. So some people don't expect nothing back. Now, right. one thing yeah. that. But I, but you know, as being a seed sower, right? Mm-hmm. And doing like, I, I have never, shit, not even in the Bible where it tells you not to, you know, sow something or not to give something or not to expect something back in return. Like, you know, and, and not to expect the harvest or expect, you know, something that you're doing. With you. Like, we've always been taught to seed and stuff. Like, you see what I'm right, saying? Right. So when you're sowing your seed that you are, that you are to, I, it's like planting a garden. Are you going to plant a garden and not expect for anything to reap anything from that? Like, you see mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know, honestly. Yeah. I'd rather, like, I think everybody done did the little kids that be outside of Home Depot, load the little Girl Scout, Boy Scout. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want the pickers. I just give them the $5. Oh, you got to get them. I'm getting my cookie. Yeah, no, but, my so, I'm, <laughs> but I'm saying the cookie now, <laughs> if I'm buying the Girl Scout cookies, yeah. Like, yeah but sometimes I don't, uh... Sometimes it's it's like it's just boom here, here go five y'all have a good day, you know. I mean it just depends on how you feeling that day. You know what uh, I'm saying? I ain't never giving them shit without no cookie. Girl Scout. You know? I mean the Girl Scout. I do want the Girl Scout cookie, but yeah. sometimes you just you 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 just give them stuff like all like if it ain't no Girl Scout cookie that they got popcorn now. I don't I don't know want that damn popcorn. Getting into the riddle of the day. All right, let's start talking about popcorn. Let's go. And I'm a little sad right now. So we. All right. And the riddle of the day goes a little something like this. It says, uh, I'm always hard and dry, but smooth and soft. You know, you start that off. I can't even finish this shit, man. I can't even finish this shit. Hold on, man. Let's run that shit back. Hold on, I can't even finish this. Alright. And the riddle goes a little something like this. It says, I'm always hard and dry. But smooth and soft in the middle. What am I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, I'm pretty 
pretty sure it's free because it's on the house. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, man. It's on the house. I like that. I do this shit. It's on the house. Yes, yeah, sir. That's something that, that's something that I dare to. Man, that. listen. I'm going to tell y'all something so crazy, bro. This joke of the day shit, this shit don't got, like, crazy because uh, now I got my coworkers. They coming to me telling me jokes and shit. Like, yeah. Little jokes and shit. Uh, somebody called me up. That one I just told y'all. Somebody yeah. called me up yesterday and told me that shit. I, I was like, y'all gonna use that shit on the show. Yeah, and people just coming up to me telling me all these little corny ass dry jokes. Appreciate and I'm, y'all. you know, I appreciate it. that way. I ain't got to do everybody listen. Looking everybody through this shit like, shout out to everybody. Listen. Everybody comment. Everybody inbox Tony. Whatever joke you wanna yeah. hear. Tell Tony the yeah. joke and yeah. he'll do it on the show. And and I will. I will do it as long as it's funny. And uh, the movie of the week. What's the movie? Is uh, Red Notice with The Rock and Ryan Reynolds <laughs> oh, yeah. on Netflix. That's what I'm saying. And, uh, and that fine ass yeah, Wonder I was Woman. Say, make sure it's a movie that we can go like see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I, most of my, 90% of my movies that I'm going to give y'all is going to be free. Yeah, so, yeah. As long as you got Amazon, Hulu, uh, Netflix, Nigga, or. Nigga, hey, that one free. No, but. No, I'm talking about free listen, to watch. You I don't care what free. nobody <laughs> say. The <laughs> yeah. pandemic, everybody done. Got Netflix. You yeah, man. Everybody got Netflix. What? Netflix started actually started trimming the fat on the. But pandemic. I'm saying though, you got to think about it. During the, the pandemic, you, like the beginning the TV, stage, they know which TV it's on. Right. Now. You know what I'm saying? Because that during the pandemic, the beginning, Netflix blew up because everybody you, couldn't work. You know, you know who you know who really put that out there? That dumb ass bird cage, bird box. What that damn? I still ain't seen that movie. Bird box. Bird box was was a. Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Netflix. I, I seen that. that. Bird I mean, Box Net- fucked it up for everybody. Bird Box made me want to get Netflix, but yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't get it. I, I always had Netflix. Hey, well, it ain't messing up for me because and the I always was, was, was the Netflix. one that was. I was mm-hmm. always the one that was letting it. <laughs> out. Right. So. Oh. I've but, been with uh, Netflix since they yeah. started. Hey, shout shout out to Liz, my coworker. She used to always give me her password. <laughs> Anything well, shout out, any, anything shout out to my you? boy at the work. I ain't going to tell you his name, but he gave me his HBO Max password. Liz gave me hers. Oh, hey, well, my boy gave me his. Him. So Liz and the boy, hey, drop, drop. And shout out to my dog, Tim. You know what I'm saying? He just, uh, he just uh, sent me inbox, all the passwords. Man. Liz. Drop that shit in the scoop inbox for me, man. That's all. Liz is Puerto Rican, you know what I'm saying? Hola, como estas? Yeah. Yeah, all that. Yes. Wait pa, wait pa. Que pasa, loco? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sound Mexican>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I know I, I got this girl at the job. Shop like, hey, pasa, son. like, hey, pasa, loco. Yeah, he dragging with it. Yeah, he Mexican. Right. Man. He sounds Dominican. Que pasa, vato. Okay, cool. All right, man. We out. I got to go chill my Buccaneers on losing 13 to zip. All right, here we go right now, man. I'm going to give you the quote of the day in the beginning. That's going to be because we got on thing. We got nothing to play with. It says, <clears throat> don't be handcuffed by bad habits when you hold the key to unlock the greatness that's inside of you. Ooh. Don't be pushed around by fears in your mind. Be led by the dreams in your heart. Trust your infinite potential. Be patient. The sky is not the limit. Your mind. Damn. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. That was too deep. Too deep. Tony motherfucking deep. Fly Jock with that stupid shit on, and uh, the perfect gentleman. Yes, sir. We oh, are man. Sunday, the motherfucking scoop. Club. Hey, best believe that. Wait, Nay Nay, happy birthday again. Happy birthday, Nay Nay. Nay Nay. Happy birthday. Good Ezell. morning. Ezell, happy no, birthday. Man. Thank you for the invite. Right across the street was a little short walk. Oh, that's right. I wasn't there. Shout out hey, to the plate. Listen, the people called the police that. on us. I, I, I bet. You're no longer on Mercy Drive, okay? Okay. Hey, <laughs> listen. Shout out to Wordplay Deck, man. Y'all go uh, follow my partner from, on from, all major uh, streaming platforms. From 9 o'clock to 2.30, we jamming. Oh, yeah. I'm calling the police, too. Mainly because I wasn't invited, but still, I'm calling. No, nah, so <laughs> next time them goddamn... Uh, the various police come up? No, nah, next time somebody have a party around that area... And as soon as the clock say 2.30, and if we still hear, from, 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 911. Yeah, 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 they're going to be in their feelings about that. 
Mm-hmm. And the crazy but part yeah, is, happy birthday, sis. The crazy part is, it's like Tony said, but just call you one night. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. I cut my dog off. I heard he snitching too. <laughs> hey. All right, now I got a dog out of the bed out of here. Yeah, I'm just going to walk around. 